Hello and welcome to Trojan Talk. I'm your host, Aaron Taylor. Today will be learning about a very interesting dance performance coming to Troy University. My guest today, Adria Frali, uh, a visiting uh, instructor with the dance program and talking a little bit about something she's going to do special for the university a little bit later. Thank you for joining us here today. So Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. And first off, before we get into to the performance you're going to do, tell us a little bit about, about why you're here at Troy University and what you're doing here throughout the semester. Yes, I'm here at Troy University as a visiting professor for the dance department, and I'm teaching the intermediate and the advanced level students. So every day I have an intense technical program with the dancers. And so, but in addition to the dancing, uh, you're going to uh, give us a performance that uh, a lot of folks around here are familiar with being Alabama and the home of Helen Keller that you're going to do a performance inspired by Helen Keller. Tell us what about that performance. Yes, uh, it was in uh, 2009 when I came here with uh, the town of Pietra Santa and its representatives and my dance company. In that occasion, I met uh, Alabama Writers Forum writer Jeannie Thompson. Uh, she introduced me to uh, the subject of Helen in her early years of life when she was about uh, 30 years old and Anne Sullivan had to leave for specific reasons. So it left her with uh, uh, a young journalist uh, secretary, Peter Fagan. Um, the two of them fell in love and decided to elope together. <laughs> And they even had some kind of marriage certificate already ready to ready for them mm -hmm. to to get married. But uh, somebody found out, and the family or whoever involved mm -hmm. in this plot uh, stopped, stopped this relationship. Stopped them from getting married. Yes, I uh, found the story extremely deep and touchy, and extremely significant. So I decided to create a dance upon this subject. And so, and it's a story that a lot of people aren't familiar with. I, you know, everyone has heard about the well in the early years, but yes. you know, as of the adult life, this is an element. And obviously this is something that there's a lot of, I guess, reasoning behind it. And, and you've got some, some personal reasons, I guess, to, to talk about why you wanted to share this story. So. Yeah, I think it's a universal message, the one that is sent through these uh, short paragraph of her life. There are, even today in the modern times, uh, women with uh, uh, handicaps and limited facilities are not uh, seen as uh, possible for them to have a family, mm -hmm. to have children. And in a Puritan society of that time, it was definitely oh, not yeah. appropriate for mm -hmm. a woman that was blind and all the problems that she carried within, even though she was so famous, it was not seen as a good thing. And that is a universal message. We have to fight these kind of dis discriminatory actions against uh, people. And, and now, but this, the kind of the passion behind it and the feeling, obviously it's something that, that drew you to say, I need to represent this story in dance. Exactly. So besides the strong social message that the story has, uh, mm, the other important issue is the sensitivity that is carried behind the fact that a woman like Helen moving, she's blind, she's deaf, and she moves. All her body parts are very sensitive. Her emotions are amplified. That makes it very appropriate for dancers to express. And of course, the, the performance itself, how does it feel to be able to relate this story, this, this little known story about Helen Keller and share it, and share it through a medium that, that you are so intimately involved with and be able to share that story, this sensitive story to people. It feels amazing. It feels just right because uh, uh, too often dance relays on uh, uh, circus abilities. You mm -hmm. know, how many people, how people jump and turn <laughs> and do exciting things. We see it on television every time. Here we are dealing with uh, getting inside the character. We are dealing from a very deep perspective, the sensitivity of the dancer, the sensitivity of the interpreter, 
and uh, that suits very very well the depth of dance and not the superficial outside forms so besides the form there will have to be something more in the dance oh well i know it that sounds is... sounds very exciting and i'm sure there are a lot of people that are now interested in seeing not only this dance but hearing a, a little known tale of helen keller's life here so i'm, I'm i know folks are probably excited to see it and i'm excited for the chance so. to see it a little bit so. later i want to thank you for joining us today and thank uh, you it's a pleasure to be here and, and i would like to thank the whole of the troy community and the university for welcoming here in this uh, lovely town uh -oh. and I'm very happy to be and here. And we're glad to be here and we're looking forward to seeing that dance later this semester. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Thank and you th very much. And thank you for joining us on today's edition of Trojan Talk.